Okay, so to integrate Nearpod into your Canvas course, you're gonna come into your course, and over on your left-hand side, you're gonna to come to the Settings tab. And then from here, we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna look for Apps. Um, and you're gonna filter and look for Nearpod. You're gonna click on that, and we're gonna say Add App. So now it's gonna ask you for a consumer key and a shared secret. So you're gonna need the link that I sent to you, and it will look like, sorry, it will, show up like this you're going to click on the blue button to generate a consumer key and a shared secret this is unique to you so make sure you use the one that's in the right when you click on that link um, and we're going to paste that in here there's our consumer key I'm going to copy that shared secret and put it here and we're going to say add app okay so now it should be installed it told me it was successfully if i want to check that to be sure i'm going to refresh this page and now you'll see that Nearpod is showing up on my left-hand um, um, bar. Um, if you come here, you can see that um, in the future, now that it's in here, if you want to, you don't even have to go to Nearpod. Um, it's gonna ask you to log in, but now you're gonna be able to do all of that functionality we were looking at in the Nearpod, the Nearpod dashboard directly from Canvas. So you can create lessons, edit lessons, uh, find lessons, and add them to your uh, library straight from Canvas. So um, once you've done that, once you have your library set up, um, either from Nearpod directly or straight from in here, now we can look at how we create, um, how we can, can assign these to our students. Um, there may be a way to do that from here, but I'm gonna show you the way that I do know for sure that it works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our homepage and we're gonna go to our modules and we are going to add something to our modules. So remember, you can do it this way that I'm showing it to you, or we can go into assignments and add an assignment here. But I'm going to show it to you from this page. So if I want a Nearpod in this module, I'm going to hit plus. I'm going to choose assignment. I'm going to say new assignment. And I'm going to say Nearpod test. And it's going to add that to this. So now I can go in and edit it. And I'm going to hit edit. You can include information up at the top when it pops up if you want to give them some instructions. Um, but the one that we did earlier, I did not because it went straight into a presentation, essentially. You can add points, all those sorts of things that you want to do. Um, but what we're going to be looking at is, is submission type. We need to change this to external tool. You're going to hit find. And then we're going to look for Nearpod, which these are, should be alphabetical. Um, sorry about that. Okay, let me try that again. Sorry, I had messed with it too many times and so it's mad at me. So we're trying it again. We're going to choose Nearpod. And when it does that, it's going to again take me to that dashboard um, where I can either choose live participation or student paste. As you can tell, you can't edit from here. You can just choose the lesson that's in your library. Um, you can search for lessons. If you know, if you have a lot in here, you can search for which one you want to do. Um, we're going to want to say student paste in our world. And once you click on that, you'll be taken back here and you'll hit select. We're going to save and publish that. And then we're going to be taken back to our, um, you'll see what this student essentially is going to see. Um, obviously, they won't see these over here, but you'll see um, what's going to populate for them when they get into to, um this assignment so they'll you'll be able to tell that your nearpod has has um has loaded correctly um, and then from there once your students have done that obviously you can come back into speed grader and you'll be able to see how well they did on each thing it's going to show you um, some analytics obviously i can't show you that right this second um, so you can see how they performed so there you go let me know if you have your questions